What is it all about? It's about desire, passion and sex. Through uh, experimental drawings, I'll gradually uh, build up the image and uh, see what develops. From very basic, crude drawing lines, an image enters my head. And if you focus on the male and female form, you start to see the suggestions of the coupling, of the actual sexual experience. And from that, the painting's design comes about. So it's the experimental, the accidental marks generate the image and the actual positioning of the couple is determined by the marks. It's not uh, fault out, it's not pre-designed, it's pure organic drawing. So the actual couple themselves or the positions of the sexual act are organic, may not be um, conventional and the actual forms of the male or female are not anatomically correct because of this. I think this is a good thing. Why? Because if you see the natural form, a realistic form, there is nothing there is nothing to actually focus your mind to see something different. I, I, I'm a firm believer that art that is different draws the eye, focuses the eye on the actual artwork itself. So the body's not being correct in form focuses the eye you notice the unrealistic representation and it draws you in, it focuses your attention and for the same reasons the colours used in the paintings are going to be unrealistic the colours will be determined more than likely by the colours used in the backgrounds I will look at the background colours, choose a background colour and then it's basically the colours of the figures will be in contrast to the background. Again, it's not going to be realistic, maybe vibrant colours, dramatic colours, sensual colours, cold colours it's uh, going to be decided during the painting process like so many people know you know when it works, you know when it's right the whole point is from drawing through to the painting is that it's experimental it may not always work but it's to contain a freshness about the work and for it to be original. Why the title Desire, Passion and Sex? Because it's about the experience, experience of the uh, situation, for the want of a better word. <laughs> the sexual experience. So Desire, Passion and sex fits together. If I was to title the work under the umbrella of sex on its own, it doesn't say much, it just it represents the actual act of having sex. It's devoid of any emotional content, it's about the physical act 
not the emotional contents of the act. And that can happen in real life. You can have sex and it means nothing, it's just a physical act. But you add desire and passion, then it turns into something else. It becomes an experience, a shared experience, a solo experience, you know, whatever floats your boat. <laughs> but by deliberately creating a title, desire, passion and sex, it, I hope it gets across the point that it's about the emotional, emotional aspect of the sexual experience. And hopefully within the drawings, I can represent the energy of the experience through the lines that I generate to uh, show the movement of the coupling, past, present. Within the background there will be shadow formations, there will be a, a sort of historical representation of the past positions that the couple have been in. And hopefully in the drawing marks this will also come across so that the whole body of work is not about sex, it's about the emotion and the movement and the drama. Drama is a very good word because we quite often set a scene for our sexual experience. We choose different rooms, different locations, we aim for different positions, we forever try new things. So it, it is like an act, putting together an act for people to share, for two people to share, or for on your own. We all search for some way of elevating the, the experience to take it to a new dimension to increase the passion and obviously um, you know the desire and I hope this will come across in the paintings the desire passion and energy. Sex can be quite an aggressive pursuit, it can be a sensual pursuit, but that in mind, the actual marks on a painting, whether they're curved, soft, will represent sensual, the jagged, the aggressive marks will represent the abandonment of, of the self really, where you actually get so into the experience that you forget yourself. You forget the day-to-day um, -day personality you, you show to the world and you go back to your animalistic instincts. Your mind goes into another existence and when you do the animal comes out <laughs> the inhibitions are lost and this is what I want to show in the work it's about impact it's about energy about the passion of, of it all and it's quite ironic but to do the paintings you have to have the same emotional experience. You have to have the desire to get the work done. You have to have the passion to see it through, because it's not easy. You know, it's tiring and hard work. But if you've got the passion, the end result is there. 
and that's when you can reach your climax. The painting, the finished work, is the climax for everyone else to enjoy. <laughs>